All of the logos that you see on these products were generated using an AI tool called Midjourney. In this video, we're gonna break down these logo generating props to their simplest form and make it as easy as possible for you to start generating your own unique logos, which you can then print onto your own products or sell on a marketplace like Etsy and make some money. After testing hundreds of logo generating prompts, I finally found consistency with the keywords. And I've created a list of prompts that allow you to generate everything from traditional style logos with intricate detail to progressively much more simple and fun logos. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with y'all in this video. If you've never heard of Midjourney before, all it is is a text to image generator. And I made a complete getting started guide for Midjourney, which I'll be putting the link to that video in the description of this one. I would recommend checking out that video first if you you've never used Midjourney. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Let's get started. Let's start off by generating traditional logos like these, then progressively make more simple and fun logos. To get the traditional style logos, you wanna start by setting your Midjourney bot to version four. You can do that by typing in forward slash settings, pressing enter twice, then simply selecting the MJ version four option. Then type in forward slash imagine, and I'm gonna start off with two prompts. This first one says coffee company logo, and the second one says fishing outfitter company logo. As you can tell, all these logos are traditional style logos with very intricate detail. And if you've used Midjourney before, you would know that you can't exactly prompt Midjourney on what words or text to generate. The technology just isn't there yet. So if you did wanna include specific words or text within your logos, you would need to use a photo editor after you generate your logo, which I'll show y'all how to do that at the end of this video using Canva. Let's go ahead and make two more iterations of this style logo, but progressively make them more simple and less detailed. Then we'll look at prompts that generate logos like these that remove the words and the text from the logos altogether. These next two prompts say simple coffee logo and simple fishing outfitter logo. We've removed the keyword company from our prompt, which signified to Midjourney to create an official looking logo. And we've also added the keyword simple to the beginning of our prompt. And as you can tell, the second iteration of logos are slightly less detailed and more simple than the first iteration. Let's go ahead and do this one more time and make them even less detailed. Okay, go ahead and change your Midjourney bot back to version five. And again, you can do that by typing in forward slash settings, pressing enter twice, and then simply selecting the NJ version five option. And now our next two prompts say coffee company vector logo and fishing outfitter company vector logo. Version five automatically generates a minimalist style logo with minimal text. So by adding in the keyword company, again to our prompt, we're adding in a little bit more detail to our version five logos. And that's how we're able to generate these traditional style logos in their most simple form. This allows us to complete a clean progression of traditional style logos with intricate detail to a much more simple version. All right, let's go ahead and generate modern style logos like these that don't have any text at all. Still using version five, these next two prompts say coffee pictorial vector logo and fishing outfitter pictorial vector logo. You'll notice that by using the keyword pictorial, that signifies to Midjourney to generate logos that don't have any text. You'll also notice that in the fishing outfitter logos, two out of the four logos have a fisherman and the other two have a bass fish. In these next prompts, we'll look at how we can be more specific with the subject that is generated within the logo. And we'll do that by changing the beginning of our prompt. These next two prompts say coffee beans pictorial vector logo and bass fish pictorial vector logo. Obviously, these new logos are exactly how we describe them. And that's because we're more specific about the subject in the beginning of our prompt. Okay, let's go ahead and make some abstract logos like these. Still using version five, these first three prompts say snowboarding abstract logo, house abstract logo, and cocktail glass abstract logo. These are the results, some beautiful abstract logos. And just as you can change the subject at the beginning of the prompt, you can always add on adjectives to the end of the prompt as well to further customize the style of your logos. Let's go ahead and add vibrant futuristic to the end of each of these prompts. So for example, this first one says snowboarding abstract logo, vibrant futuristic. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the end of the other two prompts as well. And again, for comparison, here are the initial logos. 
And here are the logos with the vibrant, futuristic adjectives added onto the end of the prompt. As you can imagine, you can replace vibrant, futuristic with any descriptive details. But for now, let's go ahead and make these fun mascot type of logos. And the keyword for these logos is emoji. We'll start by making a simple version of these fun logos that don't have a face. And then we'll make a second iteration that are your traditional type of emoji. This first prompt says coffee mug emoji, hyphen, hyphen, no face, eyes, mouth. And we'll go ahead and do the same prompt for two others, except we'll change the subjects to cocktail glass and house. The note parameter that we included in our prompt signifies to Midjourney to exclude the following from our image, which in this case includes face, eyes, and mouth. This is one way to generate these fun type of logos, but not necessarily generate an emoji. And if you'd like to generate the traditional style of emoji, you can just remove the no parameter. I'm also going to add an emotion onto the beginning of our prompts. So this next batch of prompts says excited coffee emoji, excited house emoji, and excited cocktail glass emoji. Just like we learned with the previous logos, you can always interchange the subject, the adjectives, and now the emotion as well to get the exact logo that you'd like. Although these are emojis, they could definitely pass as simply just being fun logos, like this one that I generated for the coffee mug. Now that we have a pretty good understanding on how we can generate logos, let's look at how we can further customize our logos by adding text. And we'll do that by using Canva. And then we'll look at how we can use AI to transform our logos into vector logos. You wanna start by finding the logo that you would like to further customize and then upscale it. I'm gonna upscale this third image of our coffee pictorial vector logo and then just open it in browser, right click, save image as, and then head on over to Canva and click upload, upload your image, click use in a new design, custom size, and create new design. You wanna start by selecting text on the left-hand side of the screen. And I'm just gonna go with this first text right here that says coffee, please. I'm gonna change the text to Lone Star and then readjust the size of the text. And now I'm gonna change the font color to a color that's already within our logo. Do a little bit more resizing. Now I'm gonna use the effects to adjust the curve of our text to match the curve of our logo. I'm gonna copy the first text box and paste and change the new text to coffee company. Again, readjust the curve of the font. And just like that, we have our Lone Star Coffee Company logo. Go ahead and click download and now we'll transform it into a vector logo. This is a really cool AI tool called vectorizer.ai. It's currently free to use and you simply just upload your image and it will transform it into a vector image. As you can tell right here, the image on the right is the new vector logo and the one on the left is our original logo. And the one on the right is much more crisp and clear. Then you can always just download it and use it however you'd like. I hope y'all got some value out of this video. If you did, please go and hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.